Now we are going to do the sums in perimeter of the square. That means find the perimeter of the square. First subdivision. Second is find the side of the square. Let's start the sum. First subdivision, find the perimeter of a square. So side, S means side. Side is equal to 18 centimeter. Next question, side is equal to 55 centimeter. Now look at the sums. So first question, side, S means side. Okay, side is equal to this length of the side. I told you the square has a four sides. So length of only one side, length of a side, it is what? 18 centimeter. You can write like this, otherwise, length of a side, that means yes, is equal to 18 centimeter. Now they are asking perimeter of a square. Okay, perimeter of a square is equal to formula 4 into length of the side. That means 4 into yes, 4 into side. 4 into 18. So multiply 4 into 18. Substitute the value of a side is equal to 18. The length of a side is equal to 18. So I substitute in the formula what? In the in the place of side, I have written 18 centimeter. Okay, substitute the value of side. 18 into 18 into 4, 8 for 32, carry 3, 1 for 4, 4 plus 3, 7. The answer is 72. What is this? Perimeter of a square, you write only the units. 72 centimeter is the right answer for the question. The next sum, second sum, again, length of the side, length of a side, that means yes, okay is equal to what is this question 55 centimeter okay now perimeter find the perimeter of a perimeter of a square you must write the formula 4 into length of the side that means 4 into s in that place you have to substitute the value of side 4 into length of the side that is 55 so 4 into 55 you multiply now 55 into 4 5 was a 20 0 carry over is 2 5 was a 20 20 plus 2 what 22 the answer is 220 centimeter this is the right answer for the question again in the last you have to write the step same perimeter of the square right as it is perimeter of a square the same here also okay and the first subdivision is over because two sums is over now we are going to do this second subdivision Now, second subdivision is find the side of a square. Find the side of a square. Okay. This is the heading. So, first is P. That is perimeter is equal to 28 centimeter. Okay. What is the formula of perimeter of a square? That is perimeter of a square. First you have to write the formula that is 4 into yes. That is z equal to 28 centimeter. You can write like this 4 yes is equal to 4 into length of the side is equal to what? 28 centimeter. Okay. 4 into length of the side that means they are given the perimeter of the square so but you have to find out the side of a square that means the perimeter of the entire for example I will tell you this is a square this is a square they are asking the perimeter sorry they are given the perimeter but they ask the side side they ask you okay that is the entire perimeter is 28 centimeter the entire around the perimeter is nothing but what is this distance around the what distance around the 
figure edge of the figure distance around the edge of the figure is that is perimeter is given 28 but they ask only the side of the square each side of the square so 4 in test is equal to 28 centimeter now you have to find out side only so 28 this multiplication that is 4 into s this multiplication 4s means 4 into s so this multiplication is go to the opposite direction so it becomes was division the so side is equal to 28 divided by 4 you can get side is equal to 7 centimeter you can do, you can use a formula sorry sorry you can use a table fourth table you must say four ones are four four twos are 8, 4, 3 is a 12. So you can say 7, 4 is a 8. So side is equal to 7 centimeter. So each side is 7 centimeter. Each side is 7 centimeter. So 7 into 4 you can get 28 centimeter. This is called as a perimeter of the square. But you have to uh, find out the side of a square. Perimeter of a square is given. You have to find out the side of a square. That means 4s is equal to what is the answer is given. What is the value is given? This value is 4s is equal to 28 centimeter. So you have to find the side of a square. So 4 into s is equal to 28 centimeter. If you find out the side of a square, so 4 into s means 4 into 4, 4 into s means multiplication. This 4 in the multiplication, it goes to the opposite direction, means it becomes division. So 28 divided by 4, the side is what? 7 centimeter. So while you go for a side of a square, you have to divide. While you go for a perimeter of a square, you have to multiply. So don't forget this concept. Next sum, we are going to do this. Oh, second sum. P is equal to 64, perimeter P means perimeter of a square. Is equal to, that means 4S is equal to 64. That means 4 into S, 64. You have to find the side of a square. S yes means this uh, 4, this a 4 in multiplication place. So it becomes an opposite direction, it is divided by division, it becomes division. So this 4 in multiplication place, this 4 in multiplication, so this 4 goes to the opposite direction, it becomes in division. So 64 divided by 4, the side is 64 divided by 4, you must say the table, otherwise you have to divide. So 1 4 is 4, the remaining is 2, 6 minus 4, again you have to bring down this digit that is 4, tens place. So 6 fours are 24 you can get the answer is 0 this is a reminder and this is quotient this is a dividend d i v i d e n d dividend and this is what divisor that you know that the answer is 16 the quotient you have to write 16 centimeter so side of side of the what square each side of the square is equal to that means length of a side that is called as what 16 centimeter this is the right answer for the question the next is a little uh, bigger number so you must be very careful with that b is equal to 556 centimeter so perimeter of a square is a greater number so you must be very careful while you do the sum perimeter of a square is equal to 4s is equal to 556 okay that means 4 into s yes is equal to 556. Now you have to find out s. Yes. So this 4 is goes to the opposite direction. It's in multiplication. It goes to the opposite direction. Becomes what? Division. 556 divided by 4. So you have to divide. So 556 divided by 4. So take 5. 1 4 is a 4. Put it and 5 minus 4 subtract 1 so next go to the next digit tens place bring down the digit 15 again divided by 4 it becomes 4 threes are 12 then subtract 5 minus 2 you can get 3 1 minus 1 you can get 0 so bring down the next digit that is 6 now it becomes 36 so compare with this a greater number 36 divided by 4 you must say the table that is 4 nines are 36 you must be very thorough on the table then only you can do the division properly the answer is 139 centimeter 
it's a bigger number so while you do the division you must be very careful otherwise you will do some mistakes so side is equal to 139 centimeter the side of a square is that means length of a side each side is 139 centimeter so if you multiply this this 139 is the length of the side if you multiply by 4 if you get this 556 the answer is exactly correct 9 plus 36 6 carry 3 4 3 is a 12 12 plus 3 15 carry 1 so 1 4 is a 4 4 plus 1 5 so the perimeter of a square you got it already so what is the answer 556 this is the perimeter of a square from the perimeter of a square you find out the side of the square the answer is side is is equal to 139 centimeter 139 centimeter otherwise length of a side of a square is equal to 139 centimeter this is the right answer for the question